and a rush to travel this holiday weekend and pent-up demand caused by the pandemic threatens to overwhelm the nation's airports and airlines. CBS's Lilia Luciano is at LAX tonight with more. Lilia. Good evening, Adriana. There are long lines here at LAX and at airports nationwide. That's proved that the holiday travel rush is on and with it, of course, the masks. Spring break travel is almost back to pre-pandemic levels with millions of flyers facing jam-packed airports, higher prices and concerns about COVID. I just try to be as careful as I can. More than 2 million travelers went through TSA checkpoints Friday, a jump of nearly 55% from 2020. The increased demand is leading to some flight cancellations with pilot shortages and protests over working conditions. We have the same concerns and frustrations as the flying public. It leaves us stranded without answers. We are dealing with the angry passengers. The holiday weekend rush comes as new COVID daily infections nationwide have jumped 32% in a week. And while there's a slight uptick in hospitalizations, health officials remain optimistic. If things go as we expect, the hospitals will remain quiet, and that's really what the power of the vaccines and the immunity force field is. Some travelers say they're prepared to deal with airport crowds and COVID. I wear a mask out in public all the time now, and I'm probably not going to can't stop doing it for a while. With COVID cases rising, the federal mask mandate in public transportation that was supposed to be lifted on Monday has now been extended for another two weeks at least. Adriana. All right, Lilia Luciano, thank you.